Today we're gonna to be talking about how to set your altitude or your elevation for your GS Pro software. What I like to do is set my GS Pro elevation at my home courses elevation where I play most of my rounds. I do that so that I can work on those yardages for my clubs. On GS Pro software, you have the option of using your local elevation or the course elevation. Your local elevation is gonna be called global elevation. So if you go into the settings right here at the altitude, this is where you want to put in your local elevation. I live in Minnesota. We're at about 900 feet above sea level. So that's what I do. I put 900 feet into here. We save it. And then when we go into a course, we're going to pick a mountain course here just for an example. And when we go into the match settings here, you're going to have two options. I pretty much only play at my local elevation because I want to work on those yardages, have things be very consistent. What I typically use as a metric is every thousand feet of change is about 2% of distance. So if I hit my sand wedge, let's say 100 yards at 900 feet, if we were at 1,900 feet, I'd probably hit that club around 102 yards. At 2,900 feet, it'd be about 104 yards. If we look at the settings here, we have global elevation, and we can also use the course elevation. So in this example, at Bear Mountain, we're gonna be playing at 3,900 feet. Now you can play at that elevation. You just have to know the ball's gonna go about 6% farther because I'm 3,000 feet higher. The higher the elevation, the thinner the air, the less resistance for your golf ball. Make sure that you're aware of how you're playing, whether it's your local elevation, your, which is your global elevation, or if you are set on the course elevation because it's gonna make a big difference in how accurate your round feels.